Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, welcome. So you probably have an RCA DVD player and you're wondering how you could possibly connect it to a speaker system without any RCA or even aux ports. Trust me, I know, a speaker with limited ports can be very frustrating. But hey, even if it does have only an SPDIF port, you will still be able to connect it to your DVD player. Before we look into that, let's see if we can save you some time and money real quick. Just go ahead and check on the back of your TV to make sure it doesn't have an SPDIF port like this, labeled Digital Audio Out or SPDIF. If it does, then just get an optical cable and connect it from your TV to your speaker system through the same port. Now though, if your TV doesn't have that, no problem. Let's move on to how we're gonna make the connection anyway. This is an analog to digital converter and it's gonna serve as a bridge to convert analog audio signals to digital audio signals. Because your DVD player is giving out analog audio but your speaker needs a digital audio signal. So this converter is gonna consolidate the two, as in make them understand each other. Before we get into the setup process, I wanna warn you about rushing to buy your converter without double checking the name. The thing is, there are two versions of these and you're most likely gonna end up with the wrong version if you're not looking closely. Make sure it is called analog to digital and not the other way around because if you get the wrong one, it's not gonna work out for this. I'll leave a link to one for you in the description just to get you started. Okay, let's kick off with our diagram here on the left. Starting off with the DVD player, we have the red, white, and yellow cables plugged in as normal. But now we see that it's just the yellow cable that's going into the TV because of course we still want it to get the video, but we don't want it to get the audio. That's why we pull them away and plug them in to our converter, which takes those analog audio signals as I mentioned before. And on the other end, it's got that SPDIF port so that it can be sent out to our speaker via an optical cable. Oh, and by the way, these require power. So if you find a converter that doesn't have a power port, well, be careful. I really can't recommend them. But anyway, the beauty of all this is that there's no configuration required. Just turn everything on and go. Oh, and if you happen to end up with a converter without RCA ports, only aux, no worries. Just get one of these adapters to plug in your DVD sound or one of these splitters, then just plug these into your DVD player. You have options. Your DVD player is simply sending out audio signals to whatever it's connected to. In this case, the converter, which then forwards it to our speaker. Of course, just make sure your speaker's on and you're on your way to better sound. Now in this video, I've been using a sound bar, but in my opinion, we can probably get better sound with traditional box speakers, even those from an old stereo deck like this. Not only that, it can be an even easier setup than what we just did. Check out this video if you're intrigued or explore the rest of my channel for more tips. Go have a look around to get that better sound. And if you're also interested in solutions for videos such as TV connections and more, have a look at my other channel called Simple Cafe Vision. Link in the description. All right, I'll see you on the next one and here's to your success. Cheers.